Hey guys, it's super sweet here. Today I'm going to show you the water dam, which I recently built on the server. This actually raised the water behind me by about four or five levels. So let me show you how I built this thing and what kind of issues I ran into along the way. It's actually kind of difficult to fill an area of water that's more than 10,000 blocks, which this happens to be. Anyways, let's get into it. So starting out, this is what the area looked like. What I wanted to do is just build a wall straight across here to block off the inner area so that we could start raising the water level. Initially, I decided to put some water along with some water wheels like this on the side here. I thought maybe I could have some kind of building or something that made use of this power up top on the side here. I wasn't really sure where it was going. However, the water wheels provided a good source of power for the water pumps. By placing a pipe down into the water like this, it gave me an infinite water source. I then thought I could use a host pulley on the inner area to fill it with water. Initially, things looked promising. The water was filling up, but that success lasted for a very short moment. Once the water hit the larger area, it turned into a bottomless supply of water, which the host pulley won't fill no matter what you do. I even tried cutting the area in half, but it was still 10,000 blocks, so I couldn't use the host pulley. So what I ended up doing is I built a floor on top of the water. This would create an empty hole, which I could fill with water, as there would be no water already there. And then I could remove this floor later, and hopefully it would look good. Slowly, the area started filling with water. This is actually at five times speed that you're seeing here. However, before the water could fill up completely, I hit the 10,000 block issue again, and I had to cut the entire area in half to make it work. As I was doing all this, I also realized that I might want to empty the inside of the dam, as I could build some cool water wheels or something inside. Once the outside area had filled up with water, it was time to remove the floor that I had created previously. And luckily, it looked pretty good. There was no issues with water blocks that were missing or anything like that. So this is the way to do it if you want to fill up a large area with water. And finally, I spent some time decorating the dam with some lamp posts and all kinds of stuff. And here's the end result. So this is what you're looking at right now is the inside of the dam. I thought it would be interesting to have some water flowing down on the back wall there behind the glass. I also used some water wheels to make something that looked like generators. I've never actually been in a dam, so don't know what they actually look like, but I've seen something similar in pictures. It's not super detailed, but I think it's a design that's good enough. Most likely there'll be nobody on the actual SMP server that goes down here, so. And this is the final look from the outside. So this is the area that we filled up with water. As you can see, there are some holes in the dam there, which are inlets for the water to go in. I also have a little walking path under the rail there. I don't really like the railroad track and that it goes over this area, so it might be something that I get rid of in the future. And here it is from the other side. So there are a few outlets on the front that match the inlets on the back. And these are just letting out water as a visual representation. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. And I ended up learning a lot from filling large areas with water. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. And the limit of the host pulley, I mean, it makes sense so you can't fill an ocean with more water. But I wish you could toggle the limit so that maybe you could fill an area with 50,000 blocks or something like that. But I also understand there might be a limit on how many calculations you want to do on the server and stuff like that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please do give it a like. And if you want to see more of my videos in the future, do hit that subscribe button. I wish you the best and I will see you later.